welcome to the video welcome back or if you're new here my name's Anna and I want to kind of do a day in the life today I'm kind of feeling really motivated at the moment after being super not motivated for ages and I remember when I was feeling really low I was just looking for a video to kind of inspire me so I thought you know what now we're kind of back into routine if I share you like little things I'm doing then I might inspire you to do some of the things if you're feeling not motivated I do want to say this is my second day of doing things in routine so if you see me do like lots of things just know it's my second day so you can join me along with it okay guys so I was stretching and I didn't know whether to use like a massage gun before my running because I didn't know like if it helped or not and it does say research has found that using a massage gun as part of your pre-running ritual can increase your range of motion by 50 to 80 percent i'm gonna use a massage gun every time that was lovely i've also done a few stretches um it says to do stretching afterwards but i think stretching before is good also but also it's just part of my yoga routine anyways look what i made last night which kind of motivated me so i wanted to do some sort of like tick list but i wanted to make sure it wasn't in like an obsessive you have to do all these things it was kind of just reminding me that these things make me feel good because sometimes it could be a couple of days and i forget about all the little things that make me feel good so my goal isn't to necessarily tick them all off, but I have just done my morning yoga, so I can give that across. This is day two. Anyways, things that make me feel good. We've got morning yoga. I've done my gua sha this morning, drinking my greens, which I haven't had yet. Then I've got like journal and gratitude intentions. 15 minute walk. Now, when I say this, I literally mean yesterday's 15 minute walk was five minutes to the shop, five minutes back and five minutes from the car. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a walk. It, it just gets me to be outside. Obviously, ideally, it would be lovely. Now, don't worry, I'm not taking mushrooms there. I will actually show you when I go downstairs. But they're basically like really good for recovery or known to be really good for recovery. And I've taken them like randomly in my month. And I just want to be a bit more consistent to see if I see improvement. Then we've got some sort of movement in my day. This is like morning stuff. This is like any time to be done in the day. And then this is kind of my evening routine. So that's probably like 8 p.m. or something. Having a herbal tea, doing my gua sha, tidying my room, evening yoga. Oh, I did my evening yoga last night. What's that about? Give that a little tick. Oh, look at that. That's a high achiever right there. <laughs> evening yoga, massage gun and foam roll and journal. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have my greens because I haven't had them yet. Also guys, look how much of a kino I was last night when I was tidying my room. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna lay my running gear out. And it has motivated me. I haven't put it on yet, but it's definitely looking at me. So actually, should I put my running clothes on now? Yeah, let's do it. I need a change of outfit. I feel like this video will be good for me in about a week when I forget that I would do all these things to make myself feel good. <laughs> just out of routine lately and like I was slowly picking it up but it came to a point where I was like I need a lot of self-care to run like I need a lot of self-care I talked about this on my podcast but so basically me and my friend you're gonna see in the vlog in a bit she's gonna come around we were feeling well I was feeling really really unmotivated last week especially with fitness like I was feeling really low I get excited to go to the gym I turn up to the gym and then like I don't know what I want to do everything is like contradicting I'm like do I want to lift heavy? No. Do I want to do this? No. Is there point doing that? No. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I just want to move my body. So we had like a mind map week. We were brainstorming. We were trying to be like investigators, like what should we do? One day last week, we went to the gym and we were like, let's just do a calisthenic session. Let's just have so much fun. Didn't put pressure on it at all. It wasn't like, oh, we had to work out a certain amount. It was literally just like, let's just mess around. Let's just mess around. We had so much fun. An hour flew by, it felt like 20 minutes. And we were so inspired and we were like, okay. That was just like a little, little touch in the, what's it called, river, in the pond. Then, two days after, we go again and we're like, right, we're gonna do a proper calisthenic session. We did an hour and a half, it flew by. We were so inspired. That was yesterday, by the way. I don't know why I'm talking about it like it's, 
a week ago. It was yesterday. And we were so inspired. And suddenly, like, everything else in our day was, like, really charged with motivation. Instead of forcing ourselves to, like, cook. Because I get a bit lazy and I'll just put together something that takes two seconds and I won't put effort to cook. All of a sudden, I wanted to cook for myself. I wanted to go buy fruit from the store. I wanted to make a cute smoothie. I wanted to go outside. And this has all come from a calisthenic session. And I don't think it's the fact that it's specifically calisthenics. I think because my training has purpose now i think sometimes we depending on where you are especially if you're further in your fitness journey you've done it for a while and like you lose motivation whereas right now it generally feels like i'm a beginner you know when you just start your fitness journey and you're researching and you're just excited and you see little bits of progress it's amazing i haven't had that in so long so i'm kind of excited because we're gonna be calisthenic queens if we practice every okay not every day let's say minimum three times a week you can't not show improvement if we turn up to the gym and we train calisthenics no matter if we can't do much and we're just like holding a handstand for a bit one pistol squat and doing like a couple of chin-ups if we turn up three times a week doing that by summer we're gonna be really cool and maybe in a year i'll do a muscle up also guys i wrote a little plan for this morning right 7 30 wake up breakfast but i actually woke up at 6 50 this morning so i'm ahead of schedule then at 8 45 ready to run and little pre-stretch so this is when my friend is coming up and then 9 a.m. we run. And that's basically the rest, but I'm gonna show you the rest. Anyways, so making like a little schedule the night before was nice because then I wake up and I don't have to make decisions. My decisions are made. Greens. Sister Slay Day. Anybody wanna give me some links on like cute little cups? Cause I need to be more aesthetic, right? I need, I need, to, be, I need to be super aesthetic now that I take greens. Anyways my good old mason jar. Twenty-one ingredients in me before eight thirty a.m. Mm, yeah. So I am about to go on a seven-kilometer run. I have a specific workout program tailored to me. I basically use the app Runner. I love it. Like I genuinely love the brand. And what it does is it takes in all your PB times. Your length of time that you have to train for a race and you don't have to just do it for a race but i would highly recommend if you're training for a half marathon if you're training for a marathon you need a running plan like you you need it there is like you can literally use the app for just like getting fit as well or doing a 10k fast or running like couch to 5k like if you just want to get a 5k but i'd really recommend the app and i do have a code all codes will be down below but that's not what i was trying to promote. I've got a seven kilometer run now. Um, it's an easy run. Easy run literally means like, you're running at a comfortable pace. You're not trying to push yourself. I remember back in the day when I used to run and I was like, why don't I make any improvements? I would only be able to run a 5K and I would never be able to run more. And I would never be able to run it faster. Like I would never be able to beat 30 minutes because I would run it. Like I would put all my energy. That's not how you improve your running. You've got to run like, You've got to do tempo runs and you've got to do faster runs elsewhere, but easy runs are supposed to be really <laughs> easy. And you're supposed to do it at a super comfortable pace. And it, you, you literally can't go too slow. And I purposely like to go slow just to like, especially the beginning, like your first two kilometers needs to be real slow because your body's just warming up. And what you don't want to do is start your run really fast, then get really tired and you get slower. You, what I like to do is, run really slow and then I pick it up a little and then I balance myself out. I'm running good, I'm running good, not out of breath. Okay, pick myself up a little. And by the end of it, I'm running the fastest kilometers, which is such an amazing kind of 
progression. Anyways, I'm training for a half marathon. It is in less than a month. It's on the 21st of May. I'm gonna be running the Hackney half, which apparently is like really good vibes. I obviously did the London marathon and that's just a whole experience in itself. And the crowd is so energetic, but apparently the Hackney half is like energetic too. So I'm super excited and I'm just kind of counting on adrenaline to get me through. But I've been slightly off with my running, but this is me to you. If you've fallen off, it's okay. And I think sometimes we like to, we prefer to stay off than start again. Do you know what I mean? Instead of getting back on track with the running, it's like, oh no, I've missed a week. I've missed two weeks. I've missed a month. I've ruined all my progress. Whereas like, I think that's the benefit of booking a race <laughs> is that like, I probably would have given up three weeks ago because I literally missed like three weeks of training. And I was like, uh, but because I had the race booked in and I've told everyone I'm doing it, I can't quit. I can't, and I'm glad I'm not. Like, I do actually like running. Shall I give you some running tips while we're here? Yeah, because I'm trying to inspire you to do fitness. First tip is you're probably running on the wrong edge of your foot. A lot of people think they're running like heel first, right? Like, ah! No, it's gonna give you shin splints, and it's just bad. You wanna be running on this section of your foot, okay? And the way that you're gonna practice your form is you're gonna run on your toes. We all know how to run on our toes, right? So I'm going to run on your toes, and you see how you're on the front part of your foot. You're then gonna lean forward a bit. Oh my God! And that's how you run. So anytime you're in a run and you don't feel like your form is good, stop, run on your toes, and run forward. <laughs> Obviously, I'm in a bit of a constricted area. But even let's say if you're stopping at a traffic light to cross a road, run on your toes, so you can like realign your foot position and then go forward again. So that's the first tip. The next tip is you do not want to overstride and by running on your toes, this will already make you run in a straight line. What you don't want to do is be stepping out in front, right? The way that you get faster, the way that you move forward is not by reaching your leg out more, right? And running like that. Sorry, I'm out of breath. The way you're gonna go forward is by flicking your heels back, right? So it's about landing directly below you and then flicking back. So kind of, you know, see how this is going back? And if you wanna run faster, you gotta flip more back kind of vibe. Instead of, I don't know if I've explained that well, but you basically do not wanna be overstriding. You wanna have your legs, does that make sense? Your feet right by you and all action is behind. Kind of vibe. Also, another thing that's gonna make you faster or help when you go uphill is by using your arms. So especially when you go uphill, think about like half of the work is literally pulling the arms back. Like when I'm running uphill, I don't try and put more effort with my legs because we wanna save our legs. We wanna use our arms. So literally just by like, imagine, like just be really extra, okay? Maybe not too extra, but like just pull it back. And that will also help you run faster. Pulling your arms, Back. Another thing is cadence, which is basically the aim is 180 steps per minute, but our bodies are actually all different, so you don't have to hit it 180 specifically. But basically, you don't want to do slow steps, you actually want to be like running at a certain speed. No, you actually want to be running at a certain rate per minute, no matter how quick or slow you're going. So if you're going slow, you should still have quick feet. And if you're running fast, your feet will obviously be quicker, but the distance that you're traveling in between each step will be longer because you're running faster. Anyways, I just thought I would share a few of those tips. Let me know if you found them helpful. <sighs> what shall I do with myself while my friend comes? Bosh. Right, we need to journal. We don't need to, we want to. I am a like vouch, is that the right word? I am a, I don't know. I don't believe that you have to journal every day. I don't necessarily believe you have to do a five minute gratitude thing every day. The way that I like to use my journal previously has been like, whenever I need to journal, I journal. So if something's going through, if I'm having realizations or if I'm having a really tough time, journaling helps me. So I could journal once a week. I could journal every day for a week. I could journal once in two weeks. Like it just depends. But what I'm trying to do recently is just I do feel when you journal, you just reconnect to yourself and you get inspired and motivated, depending obviously in what way you journal. 
I'm not to expecting myself to like reflect on every part of my day all the time when you know how you've seen on my board that I want to like journal every day I think in the morning my aim is to not dig deep into anything but just kind of inspire myself say what I'm grateful for you know maybe what my goal is of the day or what I'm proud of or that I'm a little message to the self something something short and sweet five minutes so yeah I guess it is a five minute gratitude journal but yeah I'm a journal if you're struggling with motivation if it's possible what has really helped me literally all my long runs from the last two weeks i've only gone on when i've had a friend on a bike like they'll just cycle slow next to me and i'll run and it's so motivating because like you don't have to talk but you also can talk if you need a bit of a friendly face and it's just nice it just gets you on the run because they come to your house and they're like let's go and i'm like okay so i've done that with my mum and two friends so Tried tested success rate 99%. No. <laughs> She's camera shy. I'm serious. Okay, fine, you can be mysterious. But I want to film us doing cuss on it. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Right, guys, so my friend is here. Do we give him away? <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically doing, right, how good of a video? A day in the life. <laughs> oh, she's so talented. <laughs> <laughs> no, she no, thinks outside the box. No. <laughs> no, listen to my reason. Yeah, go on. Right, you know how last week, see if I'm You have to just put your banana in the fridge, you know? Why? Because then you're going to get flies. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mother Amelia. No, seriously. <laughs> anyway. You've organised your fridge. I know! <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you, I've got this way of motivation. Last night, 9pm, organised my fridge. <laughs> Revelation. You know how unmotivated I was last week? I was looking on YouTube, I was like, can someone just motivate me? Do you know what I mean? Can someone just show me they get their life together after not having their life together kind of vibe? So I'm just showing them like a motivated day because we're motivated at the moment. I have told them it's only our second day though. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. Second day. They wipe the surfaces. No, I wipe the surfaces. No, I wipe the surfaces <laughs> last night. I did it. spray wasn't it. Like, no, I made more mess. I made, oh, I cooked myself dinner last night. No, what did you mean? <laughs> no, like I cooked. Do you know, I don't remember the last time I sauteed an onion. Mm -mm. That's how long I've that's not done a meal. The, that's the basic of a meal. Right, and I haven't done that in yeah. so long. That's a lovely meal. Thank you. Anyways. 7k? Yeah, easy. Easy. You're making me want to wear leggings now. I feel like it's, it's quite cold. Oh, okay, leggings. It's five degrees. Five degrees? Yeah, I thought it was sunny, but it's actually cold. Oh. Mm. Okay, guys, we're going to have an outfit change, but <laughs> see you during the run. <laughs> Just running. What a beautiful day. Just listening to the it's melodies cold. in our head. <laughs> Guys, basically, we're back from the run. Um, <laughs> how was it? It was good. Yeah, ten. It was. It was oh, sunshine, beautiful, mm, absolutely yeah. fabulous. Now, gonna go pick up another little friend. It's like bloody Uber drive, <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna go to a coffee shop to meet another little friend. Yeah. I thought, you know what? Let's group together all my friends that like I've met recently from my area. Mm. Get them all together. Where's Where is she? There she is, Kylie Queen. Oh, we're breaking her up. Yeah, we're breaking she's literally we're at the coffee shop. <laughs> Sorry, I, do I have permission? I <laughs> don't have as much permission as you want. Doing our work, how cute. Yeah. Yeah. Got some sushi. Like, proper sushi chefs, that is like, just skill. Right? What time is it? How long were we in there? Just three hours. Oof. Now it's we are ready to calisthenicize. <laughs> <laughs> it's like photosynthesize, but calisthenicize. <laughs>
sunny. That's sunny right there. That was a fabulous calisthenic session. We are really making progress. It's just when you've got passion, you are unstoppable. Do you know what I mean? Oh my God, we could do cobble karaoke. She's not even in the car. Hey girl. Uber for me then? Yes. <laughs> I was saying I need, I need a camera. Imagine how good that would be driving. Mm. Real good. Should we see how long it stays up a little, A little like sticky thing. How did be. you find the session? Oh, lovely. Lovely. Exactly what we needed. What's nice is like, when you do calisthenics, you have to listen to your body because when you get tired, example, mm. like in the middle of like hand something, you have to stop because you just got to let it rest for a hot sec. And then also overall, <laughs> and then overall in your session, like we come to a point and we're just like, we're tired. We're we have, and you just can't do any more. And then it's, nice. it's just nice because if, well, I don't know how long we trained, but like, it's nice to see a little burst, mm. get that energy out. Okay guys, we're home and I got some parcels. First thing, more misfit bars, which is great. Ah! And then I bought a yoga mat last week when I decided I wanted to get my life together. I was like, I'm gonna buy a yoga mat so that I'm inspired to do yoga. Good thing I've already started my yoga this week, but it's so cute. Let me show you. It's from the company, what, what is that? Lifoform? Liforme? Liforme. Wow. Oh my God, imagine me going to yoga class. <gasps> and I got free mat spray. Breathe through your cycles of life. Live for more. Yeah. Wow, isn't that color so cute? It's got moons on. That's why I bought it, to be honest. <gasps> that is lovely. Ta da And it's got like the little lines. I think that's where you put like your hands and your feet kind of vibe. Look how cute that is. My old yoga mat was pink and really dirty. And I was like, no, I'm a new human. So I need a new yoga mat. Anyways, we had sushi for lunch at the coffee shop, but I need more. So I might make like a little protein smoothie for a little refreshment. So guys, this is the protein I use. Chocolate free soul. What I like about it, it has different, what is it called? It has added ingredients, not just protein. It's got maca, ginseng, B vitamins, iron, calcium, magnesium, flaxseed. So it's got a lot of goodness. So we're making it for two people. So I've put quite a lot of milk in. I've then got half a normal banana and then I'm adding frozen banana in. How much should I put? One and a half. Okay, there we go. That's a lot in there. Right. Now, to make it a hormone balancing, Ooh. nutritional Tell thing, me. we like to add lots of seeds to, it will basically last longer in your system. It will release slower. So we've got a mix of like seed, pumpkin seeds. Oh, yeah. Just chuck it in. Add some chia. <laughs> Throw. Throw it in. Yeah. What else do you want to add? Hemp. Source of protein, source of fats. Maybe a few sunflower seeds. Do you know what I mean? Good for the health. There we go. Oh yeah. Lovely. No, it's good, isn't it? Oh, that is lovely. It's like a chocolate. It's got been like. Oh, oh, get in there, girl. <laughs> We've also opened up Misfit boxes. So she's gonna try cookie dough. Honeycomb and wave. These are my three fave. I do actually prefer, if I go in here, my favorite flavor of the wafer is white chocolate vanilla. But you get like a range that you get all three, which is nice. <laughs> no! The kids gotta go to school. <laughs> she gotta go to work. She gotta work. She's gonna go teach some kitty gymnastics. She's gonna leave me. Hi darling. Hi darling. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> right, first time actually being alone with myself today. <laughs> Currently 4.17. I need to drink some more water. Mm. Been such a lovely day, guys. Really enjoyed it, really quite enjoyed it. What am I doing now? I'm currently editing a reel that is giving like women empowerment vibes. Do you know what I mean? Like, should I show you? Should I show you the reel? You can't take down a woman who uses the worst things that ever happened to her as fuel for her greatest victories. A woman like that is unstoppable. You can strip away everything she has. And she'll walk away and go get it again. Anyways, yeah, pretty cute, isn't it? <laughs>
want to do like an announcement post that I am doing basically half, so I'm doing a half marathon. Everyone knows that I'm kind of doing a half marathon in a month. I say everyone knows, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm doing a half marathon in a month, but I haven't announced that I'm doing a fundraiser for it. Cause only recently I was like, I want to do a fundraiser for it. So I wanted to do like an announcement post and I thought that's quite good because basically the charity that I'm going to be donating to is all about women's rights and basically pro-choice and reproductive rights. And so I kind of wanted to do like a, that type of reel and then below it, I'm going to do like a caption of like, sup guys, do a fundraiser. If you would love to donate, um, there'll be a link below. Anyways, once I've done that, I'm then going to edit some more mic ups. Amelia and I filmed our workout. I think it was yesterday. We did like mic ups, and it's quite funny because like really just trying to like almost inspire people that don't know what they're doing to just get in the gym with their friends and just like play around because that's literally what we do. Like you obviously saw the clips earlier. That's like our third session already. We've made so much improvement together. So I don't know. It's just it's just fun, so I'm gonna edit the mic tops. Oh, I finally done it. I did my little um, donation and I put it up and then it's just like after like just organization, replying to some DMs, replying to people that donated. A girl donated to me and I was like, bro, I wanna go donate back to you because she was like, she was fundraising as well. Anyways, I didn't get around to doing the TikTok mic tops. And what was interesting, what came up in therapy yesterday was like, I think it was like the last couple of weeks or maybe month or I don't know where I'll go about my day and I'll be doing my stuff and like I could be I could have done a lot of stuff whether that was like a YouTube video um TikToks Instagram um gym this made my own meals like I could have done a lot of things especially work related like the, the achievements or the, the stuff so whether that's you studying or whether that's your job or whatnot and because I am work for myself, like it's not like you go home after a period, if that makes sense, and then you log out. When it's to do with your own stuff, just as if you're studying. And I don't also want that taken away of like, I'm not appreciative where I am. Like I am very appreciative that I have this opportunity that I can work whenever I want. But the flip side to that is when you are a little bit of a perfectionist or a high achiever, you don't know when to stop. And so it was coming up with my therapy yesterday. I was like, bro, I could literally put out so much in the day and like around this time, like 6 p.m., I'll just be like, mm, I could make another thing. I can make another TikTok. I could edit something else. And she was like, you are, you're crossing this healthy, almost line of, no, unhealthy line because everything in your day is authentic and it's coming to you. And then it gets to near the end of the day and you just think you haven't done enough. And if you constantly think you haven't done enough when you are actually doing enough, you're never gonna feel enough. And so we were kind of working through like what in the past was making me and it was kind of obvious daddy issues and all. Anyways, so I just found myself there. I was like, I'd done my post and I was like, why am I looking for more things to do right now on my phone, like more work to do? And I realized there was like a little kind of green monster going, maybe you should do something else. Maybe you should do a little bit more. And just now I was like, right, I'm, I've turned off my work phone. Basically, it's just got social media on. And I was like, I've done enough. And just saying that to myself, like, no, Anna, you've done enough. Like, just makes you feel good enough. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've done enough. I've done enough today. I've done enough. You can always do more, but like, no. I need to shower, but I'm also hungry. You know, when it's one of those situos. Obviously, I think everyone also has different like work schedules or like when they're productive. For me, like you kind of saw my morning and day is like so jam packed. It comes to like 6, 7 p.m. and I'm like, I'm done for the rest of the day. The next four hours, I will be doing nothing. Do you know what I mean? I just wanna be chilling. I wanna be eating. I wanna be like washing slash cleansing slash sitting on the sofa doing nothing. I decided to go for a cookie dough protein bar as my pre-shower snack. So I can get through the hard work of washing your hair as a woman. Mm. So this is Amelia's first try. Cookie dough flavor, absolutely burning. She did not know that was gonna go online, by the way, guys. <laughs> right, we have showered. And um, also, I like this hoodie, but not even 20 minutes of wearing it did I stain it with olive oil. And I've washed it. And it hasn't come out. So anyways, moving on. Wash my hair. 
And I'm feeling a little bit contained, I won't lie. I've been here in this area for quite a few hours. And I just feel like before the sun goes down, I might go for a little drive. And when I mean a little drive, I mean five minutes to Waitrose and five minutes back. But I sometimes just generally feel like getting yourself like, just shifting your energy, shifting your actual whereabouts shifts your energy. Do you know what I mean? Cause like I feel good, I feel happy myself right now, but I feel a bit, ugh. you know what I mean? Ideally would love to go on a little sunset walk, but guys, my laziness with walking. Okay, I'm not gonna say laziness, but I literally live probably realistically eight minute walk. Yes, eight minute walk away from my local park. And in my head, I'm like, oh, eight minutes. That's a 15 minute walk in itself. And all I want to do is a 15 minute walk. So why would I walk down a, down a road to get to the park to turn around? And so that in itself stops me from walking, which is silly behavior. Maybe it's not, I don't know. I don't know why I make it such a big deal. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a little drive instead. I'll get a bit of fresh air as I walk to my car. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner. In the fridge, I've got prawns I need to eat. So this is how I make my meals. This is, this is the thought process. I got prawns, but I got salad bits I want to eat, but I don't want prawn salad. It's not the vibe. That's like a, I'm not hungry, it's lunchtime kind of vibe. And not even I'm not hungry, I don't want a prawn salad. I'm thinking I could make like a feta cucumber salad with that nice kind of Greek dressing vibes, olive oil, Mwah. little side portion. Boom. so I can eat some fresh vegetables that are going off in my fridge. Then I'm like, what do I do with my prawns? And I also need like a base, I need a carbohydrate. I had rice last night, so I don't, and I had prawn rice last night, so I don't really want prawn rice today. And then it's like, what else does prawns go with? Noodles? I've got rice pimento chili noodles, but the success rate of them actually turning out good is very low. I prefer them in a soup. I can make prawn noodle soup. Prawn noodle soup and a salad doesn't quite tickle my pickle. Ooh, All right, what could I get from the shops that could assist this? Time to do some extensive research on what meals have prawns in. Ooh, prawn linguine. Tomato passata. It seems like we're gonna make spicy prawn linguine without the spice. I don't mind spice. I just want something comforting at this time of the day. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to wake me up. Anyways, I'm not show you the cooking schedule, right? It's gonna take 40 minutes to make it. Gonna, I'm gonna be back in 20 minutes minimum, which calculates to dinner at 8 p.m. I can suffice that. Do you wanna give my little output a rating? Oh, don't forget the Crocs. How do the fashion girlies do it? <laughs> so we've got a code red. Um, there is no linguine. We've only got spaghetti, and they've got no ginger. So I don't know whether to get a pre-made sauce so I can extrapolate all flavors. Grocery haul check. I got eggs. I got spaghetti, tomato sauce. I got jam because I've run out. Garlic and milk. We've arrived at the destination, and that destination is home. Now I've got to try collect these items in one hand while looking up. Garlic in the pocket, eggs on the top. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna have a little cooking mama moment. So I'm probably gonna watch like a Disney film or listen to music or YouTube while making my dindins. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't even need a recipe because I'm literally cooking pasta, putting sauce on and adding prawns in. There's not much cooking going on. I'ma watch Aladdin. from me that was so easy to make obviously i don't make the tomato sauce but otherwise i literally just pan fried onion courgette i added some um courgette because i had it going off but i'm quite happy with that mm. 
Mmm. Oh my god, that's so good. I actually added quite a bit of chili flakes. It's definitely got a little kick, but that's really good, guys. Quite proud of myself. I'm really quite proud of myself. You don't understand how long it's been since like I've been motivated to cook like meals. I think because normally I don't like cooking when I'm not hungry, but obviously when I then get hungry, I want food straight away. So I make like this, the quickest meal that is not necessarily that yummy. Do you know what I mean? It might be like, I don't even know. It's like really quick stuff. Whereas this is like, that's dinner right there. Mm. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Dolly's chocoloni. That was absolutely delicious, guys. I am beautifully full. However, there's always room for chocolate. So I'm gonna dig into that. I also got myself a hot chocky and I got myself a herbal tea. I do like my hot drinks in the evening. This is the tea that I got. It was a bit spent, I won't lie, but it's like organic hemp, CBD kind of vibes. Look how cute my room looks. Look how tidy it is. Also, look at my yoga mat. <sighs> Oh, anyways, guys, it's 9.30. I'm going to go to bed. Oh. I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to do the tiniest bit of stretching. Because yoga is in my evening routine. And then I'm going to go to bed. So, yeah. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Should I put my head up? Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I haven't filmed a day in the life. Uh, I I think it was like this time last year. Literally, okay, maybe like summer or something. But yeah, it was kind of fun to show you what I did today. And I'm sending so much love and I hope you guys are doing well. And if you're not, just know that hard times are periods of growth. When you go through something hard, there's something for you to learn within it. Even though when things are really, really hard, it's hard to think that, but you always grow as a person after hard experiences, so. And if you're good and you're positive and you're happy, then that's good too. Anyway, good night, my darlings. Sleep.